hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today i'm going to start a brand new anime this is called garo hono no kokuin now this uh, was something that has been recommended to me about like quite a while ago um someone recommended this to me and i since i never had the time i haven't been able to react to it but now finally i am able to like you know get enough time to react to it so every week i'll be reacting to two episodes uh of this anime it has 24 episodes i think so it'll probably uh, i'll be able to end this within three months so that's how i'm going to do every week this day two episodes now i like you know like uh, as i said like being recommend uh, this being a recommendations nowadays i don't take recommendations because actually it will be kind of unfair you know because if i take a few people's recommendation and react to them while the others i don't it'll be kind of unfair and you know like since uh quite a lot of people actually recommend me animes and me being one person only i'm unable to react to each and every one of them so that's why i thought i won't take any recommendations however i am kind of like you know doing polls uh whenever there's like an anime that i need to react to and i don't know what i should react to i kind of like you know uh pick a few animes and do polls with that i did one before and so i'm going to do it like that you know like uh, whenever there's like an anime i uh, like and i have enough time to react to another anime i will be doing polls from here onwards so that's how you know like you can like you know like uh, uh, the different animes you can just vote there in the polls and uh, which whichever anime will like you know win the votings i'll react to them i'll do it in that way so no more recommendations but i'm going to continue it in this way but since this i already like you know thought about reacting to it a long time before i'm going to do it now so this one uh, i now honestly speaking i have no idea what this is about i actually didn't even hear about this anime before this is like you know when someone when, when uh, someone recommended this to me I knew nothing about it so it's like I, I kind of i think i kind of read the summary and it, it seemed quite interesting and that's why i decided to react to this so i'm going in completely blind to this and i've seen that this has a few other um i don't know sequels or spin-offs i think it also has uh, uh but this i think i think this one is like the first one or something i'm not sure so I'm going in full on full blind. I have no idea what this is about. So it'll be interesting to see what this is about and react to it. So yeah, anyways, let's get started. This is the uh, first and the second episode reaction of Garo uh, Hono no Kokuin. So yeah, let's get started with this. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's start. Okay, here's the countdown. Three, two, one. Oh, and this is uh, animated by Mappa, I think. Animation should should be really good, I think. I think so. Let's see. It, this is quite old. I think this came out in two thousand fourteen. Not that old, but still. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> oh. Wait, is this like the king or someone? He has a crown on his head, so I'm guessing he's a king. Yeah, I think so. Wow. Lord Fernando. That witch. Okay. Oh, wait. It's like a... Oh, the... Alfonso Oh my god, so this is like a uh, you know burning at the stake. Yeah
Damn. Wow. So like everyone's blaming everything. Like, yeah, this is how it went. Oh boy. <clears throat> like they don't even know. Oh wait, what? What? Wait, what happened? What the? Whoa. Whoa, what is that? It's like a, whoa, this is cool. It's like a, Whoa, it's, it's like, a, it has like a dragon. Is this like an assassin or something? Oh, damn. <clears throat> no. Oh, I thought he was going to assassinate the king or something. Okay, never mind. It's for the baby. It's here for the baby, I guess. <coughs> it's like a green aura. I'm guessing it's uh, saving itself from the fire. The aura. Wow. Oh, damn. I don't know what this guy reminds me of. Like, it's like a... <coughs> Damn. Night of the Devil. <clears throat> hmm. Oh boy. <clears throat> All right, I guess. Wait, so what happened to the uh to the woman? Yeah. Oh, she's still there. Oh my god. Wow. Garo. <clears throat> oh, is this opening? I think so. Wait, what the? Wow, this is an interesting style of opening. It's like a hand drawn and Okay, I still have, don't have any idea what's happening, but this looks like a, I don't know, I don't even know who's the main character here. I'm, I'm sure they're going to let, oh, maybe the baby is the main character or something, he's going to grow up or something. Probably something like that, let's see. Hellfire, okay. Which Anna?
Okay. They're calling him a demon. I guess he... Uh, like... Mendoza, this guy, like manipulating the king or something. The man, okay. Whoa, what type of way of execution is this? What the? Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Hundred witches and demons. Oh my god. Citizens as well. Oh great. What? Who's this? Hmm. Oh my god, what the? another side told you this one what There are people. Whoa. What? That means they're. They're actually. What? So they're basically killing the p same people who are supposed to fight. Oh my god. No, I think that's that guy something do did with that that guy who's manipulating the king. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Huh. Uh, maybe you're the demon. <laughs> I... <laughs> oh my god, she really is a demon or something. Oh, maybe not. Herman? <laughs> 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 
Doe nu een kamer. Oh my god, he's going to do. Throw a stone at him. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> well, yeah, I kind of thought about it. Maybe, maybe this kid. Yeah, it. Okay. What is this? Some kind of nightmare? And who's this guy? What the? Oh my god, she really is a demon or something like that, I think. Like a succubus or something? Damn. Yeah, she, it seems like she's like a succubus. Octavia. Yeah, so this is that kid. It's pretty confirmed. Oh, so I I think the the father is probably the 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 guy in the armor who saved that kid. I don't know. M maybe. You know the one on the um on the armored uh, horse. It must be like. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, so Oh well. Yeah. Oh damn, what the? <clears throat> Is this his house? <laughs> oh boy yeah Oh, wow, that's a interesting weapon. <laughs> Is that like a silver dagger or something? Hey, man. Hey, there you go, that's him. 
Zoro. Okay. Is that the voice? The way he looks like and his voice doesn't match at all. Oh damn! What the? Oh! Hmm. Oh damn. Oh, whoa. <laughs> oh, this thing is also I'm guessing they're called horrors or demons. Oh, wow, that's a big one. <laughs> Did they know that it was like a demon? Oh my god, yeah, they didn't know. Oh, something happened. Oh my god, I think my computer is lagging. Sorry about that. Sometimes my computer lags and this happens. Wow, I'm loving the d design of the character, you know, the ar metallic armor. I wonder what's up with the red cracks that he has on his body. Oh, I, oh, I think it's like the fire. Okay, it's probably the fire coming out. That's why it's like the red cracks. Oh, daddy is here. <laughs> wow, this is like a, such a cool design. Leon. Okay, his name is Herman and he's Leon. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so we're going back, okay. By back, I mean back where, okay. Oh, Alfonso, that kid. Who we saw. Okay, Alfonso should be a little bit older than, um, Leon. Because he was... Wait, how is his dad standing? He was in wheelchair. Oh, he became, uh, okay, okay, I remember. His, um, the king got better. Twenty. So I'm guessing Leon is something like sixteen or seventeen. Hmm. What? Wow. 
What the? Hmm. All right. I think that's the end of first episode. Okay. Um, okay. As far as I could gather from this first episode, um, there's two things happening here. Number one is the whole thing with the kingdom. Number two is the thing with Yerman uh, Leon. These two things. Okay, okay, let's hear the ending first. I'll talk about it after that. <clears throat> All right, this is a good ending. All right, I think that's the end. Yep, that's the end. All right, so hey, as I was saying, um, it's like divided into, not divided, but it's like two parts, two things are happening. One in the kingdom, one with Leon and Herman. Now, from the beginning, one thing we could uh, like, you know, actually understand is the guy uh, who was be beside the king, he's probably the, you know, like the mastermind behind everything. He's kind of uh, like, you know, controlling, not controlling, but using the king for his own goals and that's why like you know he's like one of those uh, uh people who controls the king as a puppet probably that type of a person and uh, he is actually you know like directing the king according to his own motives his own agenda and um like now okay so <clears throat> first of all uh, the whole thing with the witch hunt as we saw uh, the girl who was burned was called Anna. Now I did not understand. At first, I did not understand. Then I realized that she actually gave birth over there in in, in on the stake. And um, uh, Yerman came in with that um, the armored, you know, like the person, the armored thing, and he came in and saved the kid. Now I don't know if Yerman knew Anna. I feel like he knew her. Uh, because I think when uh, German was saving her, uh, saving the kid, Anna told something. We saw it in the flashback. Anna told something to him. So it's either he knew her or he did not. I, I we still don't know about that. So that's where he saved Leon and took him with him and you know like like uh, he's like his guardian or his father. All right, so the first part is the whole witch hunt thing that we see, and then we see what happened in the kingdom. <coughs> How all the like, you know demons and the witches were hunted down by the kingdom on uh, I'm guessing on um, the orders of the guy. I I don't remember his name. I don't even know if they mentioned his name. The guy who was like beside the king. Uh, on on his order most probably because now here's the thing uh, they were saying that the king was uh, having some kind of illness and uh, as Erman said later on to that girl it's probably something that was uh, you know like done to the king beforehand to manipulate him I'm guessing it's probably something like the many the, the guy who was uh, you know talking with the king and his I'm guessing he's like his minister or something that guy um, he probably did something to the king and the king was sick and he said that oh it's because of that witch that you are sick you kill the witch and then you'll see you'll get better the king kills the witch you know burns her at the stake and that whole thing happens 
and that's when i i guess uh, the minister or the bodyguard whatever that guy was he um i think he uh, the, the whatever spell that he was casting on the king he took that away and that's why the king got better and the king was like oh yeah it's obviously because the witch was the reason but it's it's it was not definitely not because of the witch it was probably because of that guy he was probably doing something trying to manipulate him like that and after that i guess he he was like yeah we need to like you know kill all the witches like that's how i'm guessing that that guy manipulated the king into doing the thing that he did you know like hunting down all the witches and going for the demons and uh, that's basically what happened that's that's my guess and uh, yeah but the only thing that um i guess uh, went like you know he did not uh, anticipate is the kid uh, the kid uh, who was born that's why he was pretty um, hell-bent on getting the king kid back he even like you know uh, ordered all the other cavalry unit to go uh, and chase uh, yearmen but unfortunately they weren't able to do it and the kid grew up and they're still trying to find the kid and yeah that's basically what's happening now here we get uh, to uh, learn from Herman is about the horrors or the demons as they say and how like you know they are like everywhere and he can like you know like he, he he's kind of uh, what do you call it investigating that and everything and you know like <laughs> seeing the girl i like from 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 what can i say from the middle of it i think i realized that yeah this girl is probably a demon or a succubus whatever she is and succubus are demons you know so and that kind of got confirmed when we got to see the that scene where there's like that random old guy like sleeping he gets up and then he starts walking and you know like and the, the girl kind of uses some weird demons to consume him and uh, yeah like as far as i know succubuses are like you know like are like demons who feed on people's dreams and that's why i called her a succubus because you know like it's like it was like a dreamlike state I don't know if she's a succubus or it's like some other demon. I'm not sure, but anyway, she was a demon, and um, I'm guessing Arman was probably uh, here because of that. You know, he was here to uh, defeat the uh, the demon, and that's why she, he was here. And <clears throat> he he like he was like <laughs> the way like you know he was like talking about stuff, and then when uh, that girl tried to you know kill him or do something. Uh, he took out his weapon and f fought back and that's ha that was what was happening here another thing that was happening is like the king has actually uh, not the king but that guy has actually uh, sent people to uh, find the kid who is Leon and they're here now one thing we can we're probably sure from this is that guy that the king's uh, bodyguard or whatever he has some connection with demons because the person who he dispatched himself was a demon that guy with the stitch in his face and you know I'm, I'm guessing that's that's why I'm guessing he has some um, collaboration with demons and he has some plan which is probably something related to that so yeah and he's just manipulating the kingdom and the king and everyone uh, to you know further his own goals the only person who knows uh, what he's trying to do is probably that girl um, what was her name or no forgot the, the one with the red haired uh, you know like a uh, red haired girl uh, who was taking care of the king you know like that that girl who has like ringlets <laughs> you know the hairstyle i don't remember his name her name it was it was something her name was quite fancy it's like some kind of shakespearean name i feel like um where is it Anyways, I'm sure I'll get to know in the next episode. Uh, but yeah, <clears throat> and I think that's the, the that's the only person who knows about it, about what uh, the guy uh, is doing. Now, here we get, then we get to see like you know like Leon also talking about uh, uh, Leon and um, uh, Yermit talking with each other, and Leon says that oh you just left me over there. And Herman was like, ah, that was just a little test, you know, you need to be able to capable enough to do this. 
and okay now their um special power or whatever is quite cool i'm not sure what it actually is but it's like a armored um warrior um leon also has like a similar power now i don't know why is that because maybe ermine trained him that's why he has like a similar power or maybe not now here's one thing that i'm actually suspecting you know it can it can go either two ways either this like you know leon is actually ermine's kid you know actually you know maybe she knew anna like it, it, from his conversation it did seem like he knew anna from before you know later on when she he says that we're going back to anna's home place where anna's rests the way she talked about her it seems like she knew her so it wouldn't actually surprise me if he was actually uh airman and anna's kid this leon you know it wouldn't surprise me and maybe that's why he has like a similar power to his dad who is airman you know like arman has like a silver colored armored um uh, uh armored uh you know the, that horse and you know his his power that thing and he has like a golden colored uh armored you know thing now that's one way this could go otherwise if he and arman is are really not related to each other and he's just someone who saved him then it's probably because arman trained him that's why he he has this power it can can go either two way either he's like really arman's kid arman's and anna's kid or or he is not so and my my guess is like he really is arman and anna's kid because the way she he talked about anna in, in the end like let's go to the place where anna rests i think she said something like that uh i feel like he he knew anna from the beginning so it wouldn't surprise me if he was actually his and Anna's kid. Uh, who knows? But yeah, and uh, the, the the designs are very cool, and I like the thing that uh, uh, Leon's uh, you know like uh, armor is, is kind of like it has like red cracks, and from there like fire comes out. I think that it was something like that. And uh, like it wouldn't surprise me if the fire was actually because he when he was born he was in the middle of the fire that's why like you know he has like the fire attribute or something i don't know <laughs> it, it 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 would be kind of cool <clears throat> but yeah okay that was that and <sighs> all right okay and then um the last part we see where alfonso uh it's the son of the king he grew up he's like 20 years old now and, and that's how why i'm guessing like uh leon is probably like 17 or 16 years old because when we saw leon was like a kid uh alfonso was quite grown up he was probably like three or four years or something like that so that's why it's, leon is probably 16 or 17 now uh since um alfonso is 20. so yeah we see alfonso has grown up and uh, the king is fine now uh, the mother uh, that is the uh, queen she gives alfonso a, a, a thing a, a, like a necklace a locket or something you know and th there's like a symbol within it which th that lady saw you know the the one with the red hair uh who who is like the cons uh, like you know who's like helping that minister so he she looks at it and she's very surprised i don't know why she was surprised and then we see, after that we see the next scene where um but that guy he's like saying something oh this is the only thing that we need you know for our plans to come into uh play so i'm guessing is that locket somehow involved with that is that necklace somehow involved who knows but there it is something special now here's what i think is going to happen I feel like this is a show where obviously we're going to see like two things like it seems like Leon is like one main character and probably Alfonso is also going to be a main character and now my guess is it's probably going to go like this uh, these two will probably meet they'll probably become friends I'm talking about Alfonso and Leon and later on they're going to know that they're actually f supposed to fight each other they're actually enemies or something like that you know like this i've seen quite a few animes with this type of a uh, um like you know like a thing where like, like you know like there's like a person a prince who is actually good uh, and he doesn't know what his uh like you know father or the kingdom is doing 
and he actually meets like uh, some other kid who is supposed to be their enemy but he doesn't know that he's their enemy and then they become friends and you know like later on they get to realize that yeah we're actually enemies and like you know that type of a thing i feel like and later on maybe they'll fight and they'll maybe like you know alfonso will realize that yeah whatever my dad is doing is wrong and they're going to like you know work together after that i don't know this is just my guess i'm guessing it's going to go in this direction it might not it might not but i've seen quite a few animes with this type of a setting and this seems very familiar you know the 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 way this is going the background and everything you know like there's like this enemy kingdom like you know the king is being manipulated by someone and uh, he doesn't even know that and the king has like a like you know little kid who's like the prince now he's going to become the future king and then there's leon who is supposed to be the enemy but at the same time he is also like of the, of the same age of uh, the prince as like you know the, the prince and they're, they're like the same age leon is coming to that place back and maybe they'll meet they'll become friends i'm guessing it's something like that or i'm like or maybe it's something different but I've seen a lot of animes with this type of a plot. So it wouldn't surprise me if it actually turns out to be something like that. But yeah, anyways, um, that was the first episode of Garo uh, Hono no Kokuin. Alright, uh, let's watch episode number two. Now, I'm liking, I'm really liking the first episode. And I'm looking forward to what's going to happen. Let's see. <clears throat> and... Uh, yeah, so I'm guessing Leon is the main character. That's what I guess. So yeah, anyways, let's start. So this is episode number two of uh, Garo Hono no Kokuin. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is a preference. And let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one. Oh boy. Oh no, what the? Like sacrificing her for some ritual or something? Makai. Oh. oh, so this guy's a horror, okay. All right, that's where Yerman, yeah, Makai Knights, okay. Okay, so they're called Makai Knights, all right, I understand. Okay, um, I was just saying in the previous episode that I, f I think um, Anna and um, Erman knew each other and Leon is actually their kid, you know, I, I feel like the opening itself kind of shows that, you know, that's the first scene in the opening. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like I'm correct. Like, Leon is probably actually blood related to my uh to uh, airmen All right, let's see. Divine flame. <clears throat> what the? Oh. Zoro.
<laughs> okay. Huh. Damn, she's crying. Those orders. Oh. <coughs> no, that guy. That guy. Beside Mendoza, okay, that's his name. Yeah, this guy. Mendoza. Is this the thing that he needs? Blood of Maka. Oh, wait, so oh, Alphonse is also a Makai Knight. Or maybe not. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that means Alphonse also is... Uh... <laughs> She's like shrugging. Oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> Golden Knight. <laughs> he was also shrugging. He's like, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Taste of your own medicine. Oh, damn. Oh. Wait, what the? Ah! Imagine waking up... <laughs> Wake, you wake up and you're drowning suddenly. <laughs> and it's not drowning, it's shallow, but still. <coughs> I cannot... His voice is so... Like, you know, so... Unusual, like, with his, like, you know, face and with his stature. Like, it doesn't mix. He seems like a 30 year old old man. <laughs> oh my god. What? How is that related? Oh damn. Oh wow, what the? That was a weird transition. <laughs> Damn. Mm. <laughs> True. Okay. Oh damn. These people, my god. Ah, he's just...
Hmm. I don't think so. Your kingdom is actually like you know like the whipping and everything. Octavia, yeah, that's her name. I think Octavia was like a like some character's name in Shakespeare. Yes. Oh great, now they're trying to frame her. Great, wow. Wow. Oh, great. Got beat up. What the hell? What happened? Oh, it's a horse. Okay. The horse kicked him. Um... We're having a conversation here, girl. Okay. Is that what he was saying? Oh my god. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> oh, this is that place. Oh boy. The wish is going. Oh boy. Oh, this guy. Oh my God, this guy. There's been healing the gym. Emma. Yeah, like. Yeah, right. What did he like bite? Yeah, she bit him. Oh my god. Oh,
Great. Could be a Mac alchemist. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Maybe she has. Oh. Oh. No, wait. But but the priest is a, a demon or a horror or whatever. Right. Hmm. Oh wait, uh, oh my god. Oh boy. Great. Obviously not. <laughs> Wait, what the? Okay, now he can, she can fight back. Now she can fight back. Luciano. Okay. All right. <laughs> what the oh yeah she had her trap okay that's why <laughs> Damn. Where have I heard his voice? I feel like his voice is very familiar. I need to check it out after this ends. Whoa, what the? That's a weird looking like yeah th those things you know why is he not uh, wearing his armor he's supposed to transform while fighting oh uh, I guess uh... oh no it's, oh my god his same place. Oh no.
o <clears throat> okay there you go my god Okay. All right. Oh boy. <laughs> oh damn okay all right okay there you go And, and I think that takes care of the demon. Okay. <coughs> it's still new at this. Are those makeup? Like the I think those are makeup. Wait, wait, does he not know that his mother is Okay, I think he is now going to know. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well, okay, that's the end. All right, okay. Um, one thing I was saying in the previous episode, <laughs> I was saying that okay, this might go in a direction where, um, you know, like uh, Alfonso and uh leon will meet and they'll become friends and then later on they'll get to know they're actually enemies and they're supposed to fight each other and this and that i thought it was going to go in that direction but turns out it's not going to go i think it's going to go in a little different way alfonso will also be exiled or something he'll also be on the run and he and i i think um what's his name leon is going to meet and um uh what's uh the names uh airman airman said something about inheriting his armor that's why he was like you know talking <laughs> telling his son to like you know like um get oh my god anyways <laughs> i think alfonso is going to take that role and i think alfonso is going to inherit um leon's armor because they're hinting that he is well, like you know, he's supposed to be a makai knight 
well, because of the 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 thing and i think that's how it's going to go all right that's the end all right so <clears throat> this episode uh quite a few things happen uh number one uh we get to know that there's this priest who's actually a horror you know who's taking like you know like the different uh people like you know accusing them and then consuming them and yeah that's what he's doing because of some other plan or he has some other plan or something and uh okay then we see leon meeting this weird girl not leon sorry um uh airman or zoro meeting this this weird girl who is just a sec what did they call her okay he calls her a dog from the watchdog center okay um so he she says that uh okay i'm still not sure what this girl actually is he's talking about the, the witch hunts that are happening and he is accusing her He's saying that stop the terrible acting. The casualties wouldn't have been so high if you all didn't send out those orders. Okay, so wait. I'm uh, as far as I could understand from here. Um, okay, now the girl actually says that it, those are all actually fakes. Okay, there you go. That was a fake. You all were at fault for not noticing it. Uh, it looked like the real thing to me. A blind fool. All communication from the watchdog centers was shut down. On top of that, fake orders were set out. Okay, so basically what she's saying is that all the orders that had been gone, they were all fakes. That's why we are not at fault. It's as actually Mendoza as at fault because we had our communication center has been shut down and these fake orders have been sent out. So I'm guessing she, like, you know, she and or her group is actually supposed to be the one who... Uh, has the power to control these like you know um dispatches or you know these orders but since fake ones are going out because of mendoza you know like the witch hunt and everything that's happening it's actually not them that they're that uh, that are ordering that it's actually mendoza who's pulling the pulling the strings and uh, that's all i could gather from here okay and he talks about how like you know mendoza is like uh He's a Makai alchemist who was strongly supported by the council. It would have been simple for him to do. Okay. So yeah, he's also a Makai al alchemist. And... Uh, <clears throat> okay, so, okay, one thing. Um, <coughs> <coughs> okay, what was the name of that girl? That I again forgot her name. Oh my god. Um... Uh, the one with the uh the red hair okay her name is octavia okay now i, I was just saying like you know like her uh, name sounded like some character from some shakespeare and play or something and i was right uh octavia is actually a character from uh and antony and cleopatra uh the play uh of sh the shakespeare and play and she's actually a character from there like <laughs> i was right like you know her, her name sounded like some uh, character from uh, you know uh, Shakespeare and some Shakespeare and play or something uh, anyways um, so yeah uh, Octavia she uh, we see she is she actually informing um, Mendoza about uh, the about um, Alfonso having that thing with him that his mother gave to him so <clears throat> I guess that means <coughs> and <coughs> Mendoza uh, like you know uh, became mad and he was like oh the garo uh, uh you know the the knights they are not uh, leaving me alone this kid is also has that blood in him so that means uh, as far as i could gather he also probably has like um some properties that would make him a garo knight and that's why he doesn't like that and that's why he did the next thing that he did is like he tried to frame the bomb so that he could uh, automatically frame the kid as well and take him out so that's what he tried to do anyways um okay after that uh <clears throat> we see leon and uh, erman talking with each other 
uh, and how Ehrman is like uh, talking about. Now, this is what I'm I'm thinking. Ehrman said something about uh, inheriting his armor. Now, um, I feel like uh, after the last scene where we see Alfonso as actually running away from the kingdom, I think he obviously he and Leon is going to meet, I guess. And probably he is the one who's going to inherit Leon's armor. Uh, not Leon, sorry, uh, Ehrman's armor. I don't know. It's just a guess. But it wouldn't surprise me if it actually is something like that. All right. Anyways, um, we see Alfonso has, uh, you know, grown up to be a very nice person. Uh, well, mostly because of her mother's, you know, like influence, I guess. Uh, because I don't think uh, the dad probably like the dad. I, 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 it'll be wrong to say that the dad is a cruel person. It's actually the dad is manipulated by um, Mendoza. Like, I'm sure he, he, he doesn't even realize what is happening, what wrong is happening. He's just working according to what uh, Mendoza is telling him and Mendoza is basically controlling him. And uh, that's why I guess, you know, like he's actually ordering these type of things. Like, um, uh, you know, the, all the witch hunt and everything, all that's happening. And uh, the, the, the king is again sick. And I think this was like a plan, not a plan, but a, a, another thing that Mendoza did where he, he probably told uh, Octavia to poison the thing. And that's how, you know, like he's going to blame, uh, put the frame on uh, the queen. And that's what he did. He came in like, and he was like, yeah, you are the one who is doing this. I, I wonder what would have happened if um, he probably wouldn't have framed the queen if um, Alfonso did not turn out to be like a Makai knight. It's probably because of that, that he tried, like, you know, he's framing the queen so that he could also, you know, uh, frame the uh, prince as well and take him out. That's probably what she, he's trying to do. But anyways, he comes in and he's like, yeah, you're the one who is poisoning this and that. And yeah, my God. All right. So, okay, that was that. And then uh, the next scene we see uh, this girl, I think her name is Emma, who is uh, who is supposed to be a Makai alchemist. Uh, he, she is brought in by the priest. Now, I mean, I, at first I thought she was being beaten up. That's why the 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 things. Now I think it, it's it's makeup or something because she doesn't seem like she was beaten up. <laughs> Anyways, um, okay, so she is brought in, and the priest is like, "Yeah, I'm going to consume her." And uh, Leon and uh, Erman they're planning on breaking her out, and when they get in well like you know like and tries to save her she <laughs> she was annoyed she was like what are you doing you're actually coming in the way of my plan because i had something uh you know like planned out now i want i i think he probably she probably had a way or a sure like you know sure uh what kind of short way to actually uh capture this priest or somehow like you know kill him or destroy him something because she had like a little trap underground uh, underneath uh, where he was standing where the priest was actually standing which we see later on and be because like a leon and ermine came in trying to save her the priest got rattled she he, he ran away from that place and started fighting that's why uh, emma wasn't able to uh, you know like turn like you know on the trap in time and like you know and capture him or whatever she planned on doing with him like if I think if probably Ehrman and uh, <laughs> uh, Leon did not come in, like you know, crashing and try to save her, this fight would have probably ended in a lot easier manner. Like Emma would have probably captured the priest or probably killed him at that moment. <laughs> All right. Anyways, okay. So yeah, nothing you can do about it. Leon and uh, you know Ehrman, Ehrman comes in. Elman is as always like you know he's like oh that, are you okay are you like you know and she's like you just got in my way just move now I have my own plans <laughs> okay now here's one thing uh, Leon gets um, kind of blown out uh, like you know in, into like in, into the, the 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 ashes where you know like the witch hunt is uh, like you know the witches are being burned 
and she he he gets like a reminder of his past where he remind, gets reminded of her mom and his thing goes berserk i think he, he he goes out of control and he starts beating up the priest and the priest tries to run away and emma takes care of the priest that's nothing to worry about she just goes and like you know attacks the priest and kills him um <clears throat> while <clears throat> erman uh, like you know comes and uh uh, yeah, uh, Erman comes and uh, tries to calm down um, what's the name? Uh, Le Leon. Leon tries to calm down Leon, and he is successful <laughs> by the end of it. But yeah, like he, it it seems like he is still like you know he needs still some training or something like that, and he's like unable to control his power. Uh, Emma kind of like you know talks about that she says like your son cannot control the the, the power at all like what's up with that <laughs> and uh, Erman is like ah he's still in training so okay now one thing I did uh, like you know uh, actually notice um, I feel like there's like a like you know like people are actually talking about not talking but um, I feel like the golden armor is something which is probably something special because even um emma said something about oh a golden makai armor she, she kind of commented that when she saw uh, leon wearing that so i think i feel like the golden armor is something special is that it that's something like that i don't know and there's another thing that's kind of uh, i'm kind of thinking about from uh, Arman, we kind of got to know that these armor are actually inherited. Isn't that it? It's actually inherited. That's why Leon uh, Arman was talking about his armor being uh, needs to be inherited by someone. So where did um, <clears throat> Leon get his armor from? Like you know, he, he was born. Like, did he get his armor from his mom, or is it something else? Still don't know. Still don't know why he get got his armor. Where he get his armor from? Like the previous episode, since I had no context, I was I was thinking like, oh maybe uh, you know like this was like uh, since um what what do you call it? Like the, it's probably that Anna and you know like uh, Leon, uh, not Leon, sorry, Erman, uh, they are actually blood related to uh, Leon. You know, like Anna is blood related, but Erman as well. I thought. No, like Arman is uh, actually Leon's father, blood related father. And I thought like maybe that's why, you know, like he also has like an armor. It's like genetic or something. I thought it was something like that, but maybe not. Maybe th these armors are something special. Like one thing I'm pretty sure for about, um, like, you know, now is that uh, Anna, like, you know, Anna is obviously blood related to Le Leon, but I think Arman is also blood related. Like he he's actually his real father, I think. I, I'm quite sure of it now. I think so from this episode. Mm, but I might be wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. This this one is I'm I'm pretty sure about because even the opening kind of shows that. You know, like the the first scene in the opening when there's that lady and <laughs> you know Leon, uh, not Leon, sorry, Arman, and then like you know there's like a little kid that you know. I think I think that that's that's like the biggest hint. So yeah but anyways i'm sure they'll let us know about the actual like you know how the makai armors work and how they're inherited and all that stuff we'll see <clears throat> but yeah anyways um okay and then the next scene where we see is like where alfonso gets to know that uh mendoza has betrayed them the mom tells him that you run away from here now later on come back and you know take your uh, uh, you know take your place take your kingdom back after you become strong and uh, alfonso you know promises to come back and save both his mom and dad uh, after taking care of mendoza and that's where it ends now as i said like you know i feel like this is going to go in a little uh, different direction than i thought it would initially it's probably like you know like alfonso is going to run away from the kingdom and maybe meet leon on the way and that's how maybe they'll become friends and since it, it seems like that the story is kind of going in a direction where um uh what's uh where uh, alfonso is also probably going to have like a makai armor 
and it wouldn't surprise me if the makai armor that he gets is he inherits that from um airman now here's one thing i actually don't know if you can inherit the armor like Le leon like you know like not leon sorry um alfonso is not related to blood uh, by uh, with airman so i don't know if you can actually like give the armor to someone who is not related to blood by you i'm not sure about that these things but who knows but one thing i'm pretty sure is that um alfonso is definitely going to get a makai armor i don't know what which one he's going to get is it something that he's going to get on his own or is it something he's going to inherit for someone i don't know but i'm pretty sure he's going to get one like that's how the story is kind of progressing so yeah anyways and that was it that was this episode this was uh, episode number two of garo hono no kokuin so yeah uh, if you guys enjoyed these two episodes uh, this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out and uh, as i said like you know i'll be doing two episodes every week so next week i'll be back with two more episodes episode number three and episode number four reaction and that's how i'm going to do this weekly just like i usually do so yeah uh, for now i'm I'm lacking this like you know story the story is it's like you know it's kind of getting interesting now like you know that like, like this like this mendoza there and <laughs> and we see these armors all that stuff you know it's, it's kind of getting interesting I'm, I'm looking forward to the upcoming episodes and how this is going to go um how alfonso is going to get back his kingdom and what um <clears throat> leon does with his powers and everything uh so yeah uh, so yeah that's it guys so thank you guys for watching again i'll see you guys next week with two more episodes so until then goodbye and have a nice day